everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. It has been a really long time since I've done a haul and today, my oh my, have I got a haul for you. If you watch my weekly vlogs, you might know that recently I've completely decluttered my wardrobe. Still got too many clothes, not gonna lie but I've really scaled it down. Now everything in my wardrobe fits me. I would wear it all. My wardrobe isn't very colorful. I prefer a neutral, beigey, that kind of tone. So that is pretty much what this haul is. There's a whole mixture coming up in this haul. There's casual wear, there's dresses for spring. I just basically wanted to revamp my wardrobe to make me feel better. We're coming out of lockdown now. I wanna get out and about a bit more and I wanna feel comfortable in my clothes. There are a few different places I've shopped from, but most of it is from Misguided and and pretty Little Thing. I've got a pair of jeans from New Look and a couple of dresses from Boohoo coming up in this haul. So all these pieces are pretty affordable. I'm actually gonna film this haul a little bit differently. Usually I would sit and show you each piece of clothing and then show you it on. This one, I've kind of put outfits together with some pieces I already own. So I'm basically just gonna do the try on bit for you and explain what I'm wearing, how much it was, if I like the fit of it. I'm gonna try and take out all the rambling, which so far, not going too well. <laughs> but please do let me know what you think of this style of haul. If any pieces from this haul catch your eye there is of course links in the description down below to every single item but anyway let's get on with it and I'm gonna start with the pieces from Pretty Little Thing. Okay my loves so the first outfit we've gone for a very very casual vibe the plain white top I already had this is from Misguided I wear it all the time it's literally so good for like pairing with any outfit I'd really recommend it's just like a racer style neckline the joggers so as you can see they're grey they are flared joggers they're not too long which I like I am quite tall I'm about 5'7 and they fit me really well they're really soft on the inside they feel nice quality and the over shirt as well I've just tied it up you don't have to you can do it up normally you can leave it open but personally I like it the best tied up I think it's a very casual vibe it'd be nice for spring when the weather gets a bit warmer and I actually placed my order when there was 25% off the website so the prices I'm about to tell you are what I paid. If I forget any of the prices throughout this video, I'll put it on screen, but the joggers were £13.50, which is so good for a pair of joggers like these. And for the shirt, I paid £18.75. The original price was £25, but again, it's really nice quality. Here's a little close up of the check detail. I just really like it. It's a really nice casual outfit for at home, but I do feel like you could wear it out of the house as well. Put a little bag with it and you're good to go. I'm so sorry if the camera's moving a little bit between the outfits. It's because because I'm having to take pictures on my phone and move the tripod and then bring the tripod back. Anyway, no one cares. So this is the next outfit. I'm not gonna lie, I love this dress, but there is one small problem with it. So it's a lovely material. It's a linen material, so it does feel like it's gonna be really nice and cool, but it's quite thick linen. Still not gonna be too hot, but it feels nice quality is what I'm trying to say. I paid 15 pounds for this. The original price was 20. Like I said, love it. Love the style, love the shape, love the length, everything. I think it's really pretty. The only thing is this part around the waist isn't elasticated, so it was a bit of a struggle to get it on, not gonna lie. I was gonna say if you've got slightly bigger hips, you would struggle to pull it over, but if you've got hips in general, you probably struggle. Same with shoulders, if you've got shoulders, probably gonna struggle with it. But I went for over the head in the end, and it was okay. It was a bit of a struggle, did have to yank it, but once it's on, it's on. Don't know how I'm gonna get it off yet, but we'll see. That's the only little hiccup. Other than that, literally the perfect dress, in my opinion. I've paid it with this little bag. This is an AliExpress number, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was about 25 pound we love a little fake louis but i really like the way it looks with the dress i like the tones together and the last thing i got is the sandals here's a close-up of the sandals so i don't have to show you my actual foot <laughs> close up i'm not gonna lie they're not very comfortable they're very like hard on the bottom but i do think they're pretty and for popping to the pub or something like that they are lovely. I've zoomed you in a little bit, hope that's all right. But next up, we have a very different vibe. So the t-shirt is from Pretty Little Thing. This was nine pounds. It is described as an oversized t-shirt, but I think it's quite small, I don't know. I did get it in a size small because it said oversized, but I actually wish I got the medium, but I'm still not mad about it. It's okay. I've paired it with some mum shorts. These are from Zara. Zara wasn't part of the haul, but I'll try and link the shorts down below as well. But yeah, I like it. I like the gray. I think it's easy with a black bag black trainers you know simple and here's a little close-up of the print on the t-shirt it's like this washed out gray it's quite cool it's got an eagle on it wow quirky trendy she's so edgy next up we have genuinely my new obsession this pair of jeans is one of the best fitting pair of jeans I've ever bought 
please ignore the fact that they clearly need ironing. I should have done that before this video, I know. But I've been saving them for this video because I didn't want to spill anything on them. But the jeans are actually from New Look. Again, another little rogue one that I will link down below. They are the Adelaide jeans, high-waisted, wide leg. I got them in a size 10 regular or 1032, something like that. As you can see, if I stand a bit weird, they're a lovely length. They fit so well around my waist as well. I would always wear a belt with them personally. The belt is from ASOS, I think. And the top is the one that's from Pretty Little Thing. So this top was nine pounds. It is just like a washed brown crop top with obviously the elasticated detailing. It's very flowy, very boxy, very comfortable. I think in the summer with a pair of light shorts or with jeans, it would look fab. Just really, really easy to wear. And the bag, I actually just rediscovered. This was from TK Maxx. I got this quite a while ago. So yeah, this is the next outfit. And it's a very casual vibe. Dog walks in the summer vibe, this one. This is me walking my dog. This is me picking up the poo. <laughs> Next up, we have this blouse. This was one of those things that I chucked in the basket. I was like, oh, it's okay. I'll try it, see what it looks like. Now that it's here and it's on, I love it. It does feel a little bit restrictive. I think I might go up to a size 10 in this. I got it in an eight. But again, there's no stretch in it. But saying that, it is such a lovely shape. It's a really lovely material. I've just put it with these leather look leggings. These were from ASOS. And I'll probably wear it with heels, to be honest, because it's quite a dressy little top. For like family dinners or something like that, I really like the sleeves as well. This one is a big hit and it was £20 reduced down to 15 What a bag. These sleeves, they are just adorable. Look at the back of it as well. Oh my gosh, I love it. I wish I was obsessed with this dress. I do like the way it looks. I think it looks really cute with the Doc Martens as well and my little bag. I like the idea of it, but I have a bone to pick. As you can see, it's got puff sleeves, which are elasticated, but the elastic is quite tight. I could deal with that. I don't mind being a bit uncomfy, pain is beauty, but because it's so tight, it keeps riding up and then I look like I've just got like some massive shoulders. If there's a way I can find to like loosen the elastic a little bit, it would be perfect. I really like it. As you can probably tell, I'm loving a little smock dress. I just think they're really sweet. They're really easy to wear. They're very conservative. Not Tory, the other kind of conservative. They're nice for family outings or they're cute to wear with your friends. Any occasion, especially a funeral, this one. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I do really like the all black. Let me know what you guys think. Do I keep this one or do I return? turn it because I'm kind of undecided. There is a very similar one coming up later on in the video so maybe watch to the end and then let me know what you think about it but yeah. It was £16.50 and I mean can you really complain for that? It's not like a soft material, it's more of a blousy material so it feels a bit more dressy but it's really light and airy. P.S. This bag is from the Couples. It's one of my favourite bags I own. We are back to a little oversized shirt moment. I really like this outfit, it's super casual. So this little brown top, this was, I bought two that are kind of similar. My neighbor's home, hello. Yeah, I bought two that are kind of similar. This is actually the cheaper one of the two, I think. And I like it more than the other one, so the other one's going back. But it's this like slinky material. It was £7.15, that's what I paid for it. It's a nice color, I love a racer style crop top. I think they're so flattering, really girly, but really, really easy to wear. You can dress them up or dress them down. Obviously, I've dressed it down with this outfit. The oversized shirt was £18.75, the same as the other one, which I think was £25 at full price. But again, it feels really nice quality. It's not that, um, fleecy material you know when an oversized shirt is a bit like what is it called i think it's brushed cotton you know when it's really soft it's not like that it's like a thin blousy kind of material it's going to be great for summer and then we have the shorts they are like little bit camel toe vibes sometimes but i like them these are actually from misguided because from the next outfit onwards we're moving on to misguided but yeah all together i think it's a cute outfit i like the colors and i've got a couple of accessories i bought some hats I'm not really a hat kind of person, but the other day my scalp got sunburned and I was like, this is not a vibe. It's not even sunny yet. Imagine when it is. So I thought if I'm going to have to wear a hat, at least it will match my outfit. So I got this one in dark brown and this one in beige. And I actually don't hate it. I actually quite like the way they look with this. I might be the only person that thinks that, but if I am, hey ho, live life for you, honey. I think these were six pound each. Just a quick one, guys. Not too much of an outfit, but I also got this little crop top. It's okay, it is quite cropped though, so if you're not a fan of too cropped, Maybe not the one for you. I feel just about comfortable in it. But again, it's that slinky material. I like the sleeves on this one. This top was originally £10, but I paid £7.50. 
50. This top was pretty little thing by the way. Now we're moving on to misguided. So the first item are these shorts. These were £12. I'm not sure if that's what I paid or if what the original price is. The order confirmation is a little bit confusing, but I got 30% off my misguided discount. This is a public service announcement, not an ad. If you haven't downloaded Honey onto your laptop, you need to because that is where I get all my discount codes. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, shorts, really like them. They're like a jersey material. I love the colour and they were £12. Really nice elasticated waist as well. I'll be able to fit many summer barbecues in there. Alrighty then, so the trusty little white crop top is back. It is from Misguided like I mentioned. The focus of this outfit though is the trousers. We have another pair of wide leg joggers. So these ones are obviously like chocolate brown. They've also got a pin tuck down the um, leg. Is it called pin tuck? I think so. Like a little seam basically. They do say misguided on them here but it's very subtle. The waist is elasticated but there is a tie as well which I love. I hate joggers that don't have a tie. I feel like they're always falling down and I want to keep them high waisted. I've already posted a picture of these joggers on my Instagram and I put a little swipe up link in my story to them as well as so many of you guys loved them in the swipe up link loads of people swiped up so you guys obviously like them as well i think they're really flattering they make you look like you've got a bit of shape i haven't i'm literally shaped like a rectangle but they cinch you in in all the right places and because they're wide leg they give you a little bit of a hip which i like and the best part is the price these were £11. That's an absolute bargain. They feel such lovely quality as well. Here's a little close-up of the logo on the leg. It's just printed on there. This outfit is quite similar, but if you've followed me for a while, you'll know I love flared trousers, mostly because they're so comfortable, so much comfier than jeans. And to be honest, before now, I've usually got my flared trousers from Pretty Little Thing, but obviously these ones are misguided, and I love the colour of these, first of all, and they do feel really nice quality but they are definitely more expensive than the ones I've got from Pretty Little Thing. These were £18, which still isn't bad. I like the material, I love a ribbed flared trouser, and I haven't got much else to say about it other than I'm probably gonna wear these a lot. Please excuse the fact I haven't like fully dressed this outfit. It definitely needs a bag and some nice jewelry and things like that. Maybe like something a bit more special with my hair, but this top, is an absolute life-changing top. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit far, but I do really like it. So again, it's like a slinky material, but it has this ruched detailing. I will show you a little close-up because it's like the main part of the top. But it was 16 pounds, and I feel like it's gonna be so easy to dress it up or dress it down. I've kind of gone for an in-between. These jeans are just some cropped jeans from Princess Polly, and my little heeled sandals are from Boohoo. Here's a little close-up of the ruched detailing. You can see there's one down the middle, and it's also either side down the top. It's really comfortable, and I think it's really flattering. Another neckline that I really like is a square neckline. So the next item is this white bodysuit. Again, I feel like this one you could really dress it up or dress it down. It's a little bit of a ribbed material, but not too much. But I can't tell if it's see-through or not because it's like a fitted white bodysuit. You know when you're like, can everyone see my bra? <laughs> but I really like it. I really like the shape. It's really comfortable. This one's cotton, so it's not like a slinky material. And I have quite a long torso and the bodysuit is long enough for me. It's not giving me an insane wedgie, which is always a bonus. And this one was £12. This one is a very me outfit. Again, a little racer style crop top, but this one is khaki green. My jeans are from from weekday they are the lash mum jeans they are literally so comfy the best jeans ever they're a really nice soft denim and i love the shape of them this is a very me outfit i feel very comfortable in this this crop top was eight pounds and i'm very tempted to just buy it in every color because then i feel like my summer wardrobe is just done. Different colour crop tops with a pair of different denim shorts every day. Life's a breeze, mate. Life's a breeze. <laughs> Here's a close-up of the material and the style of it, just in case you're interested. I'm very undecided on this one, guys. So the next thing I picked out was a little green midi dress. This is actually the last thing from Misguided. I have put the little white crop top underneath it. I told you it's so versatile because it's quite a low V. Do you know what? I see girls rocking these type of dresses so often and they look so wholesome and so lovely and really like pretty and girly i feel like when i put dresses like this on i just look like an old lady please let me know your opinions it was 30 pounds do i look like a mum though i'm only 22 <laughs> please let me know your opinions on this one guys do I keep it or do I absolutely need to send it back and forget it ever existed? <laughs> 
Anyway, we are now moving on to Boohoo. I've got two dresses from Boohoo. First one is kind of similar to this, so stay tuned. Maybe you'll prefer the next one. Here we go. This first dress is a very similar vibe to that last one, but without the grandma vibes, I think. I don't know, let me know, do you prefer it? It's still a really pretty green print. It's still that wrap style. Again, I've got the white top underneath, which I think looks really lovely with it. I feel really comfortable in it, and it's giving me less grandma vibes, which is always a bonus when you're not a grandma. I would wear this probably with little Converse and that little white bag that I had on earlier. This is actually from Boohoo's Tall range, which I've never bought from before, at least I don't think I have, but quite often little dresses like this look really short on me. Not that I'm overly tall, like I said, I'm about five foot seven, but I do have quite long legs, and usually they come up to like here, and it's just not really like the wholesome vibe I'm going for. Whereas this one is a really nice length. It's still not quite down to my knees. This is what it looks like from the back. And I paid £11.75 for this. Okay, the final dress. I've styled this the same as the Pretty Little Thing one, so we can have a fair comparison. By the way, I bought four dresses from Boohoo. Two of them were an absolute fail, and, but these two were okay, so it's definitely a bit of trial and error. But this one is more of a jersey material than the Pretty Little Thing one. Obviously, it's also a bit longer, and the elastic isn't as tight, so... Let me know what you think. I think it's just a case of me getting used to this length on me. I love it on other girls, but on me I'm just not sure. I can do it, Han. <laughs> you can do this. And this last dress was £15. So that, my loves, is the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you like my new spring-summer wardrobe. If you don't, sorry about it, but I think it's cute. Like I mentioned, if anything caught your eye, there is a link to it in the description down below. Please do give me your feedback on what you thought of this style of haul. Do you like just the try-on bit, or do you prefer the sit-down bit mixed in? I'm happy for any feedback to be thrown my way. But anyway, do subscribe to see my future videos. I upload weekly vlogs every Sunday morning of me, myself, and I, and my little puppy, of course. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.